Hello, and welcome back. My name is Pierce, and today we're doing something a little bit funky. So this behind me is the largest canvas I will have ever worked on. So this is going to be big, so I better not fuck that up. And the other great, super exciting part about this is I'm going to try and not use brushes. Um, yes, this is on purpose. No, this isn't going to try and make it more difficult. I might have to use one, which may or may not be cheating a little bit. I hope not. Another thing that makes this funky is the fact that I haven't prepped that at all. Generally, I will cover it in like some matte medium, so it's more of a smooth surface. And I'm just going to raw dog it. I'm not putting anything on it. If I'm using a palette knife, it should be super thick and it smears around anyway, and it's going to be kind of textured. So I don't think it's going to be necessary. I really hope that's right. If that ruins it, I'm going to it's gonna hurt <laughs> regardless hopefully you'll see it soon but we're kind of gonna go for this very blue ocean streaky <laughs> little you know little waves seen it a couple times seen it on pinterest just saw a video of a lady doing some on like a little eight inch panel it was super cool and i'm just gonna do a super big one of those for in my room just make it nice and color planning schemes <laughs> you get it I'm, we're rolling okay <laughs> So, just hit a bit of a hiccup. I do not have nearly enough blue for this. So, I need to run and grab some. Woo! I was not at all prepared, nor aware, of just how much paint it would take to paint like this. Like, I mean, I guess it should have made sense. I did say that it was going to go on all thick, but like, I had to bust out the big, big boy 200 mil white paint, and every first or second bypass, I have to refill the plate with more paint. It's fine. It's just going to be expensive if I run out of this paint and have to get more. Like, goddamn. Anyway, that's the sky done. Um, very high horizon on the canvas. Gonna try and just do the water now. Just bang it out in one day. All done with. All right, we are now most way through that, and I think it's going well. Things are mostly going well. Like I said, I'm running out of paint rapidly, but should be able to just fill in some of the middle bits, tweak around, maybe make the sky lighter, cloud, who know? you know. Things are going well, feeling good. Totally gonna finish it like right now. Um, and then just moving on, leaving, varnishing, maybe, sign it, submit, uh, I don't know, we're, we're good.
Cool. The entire canvas is finally covered. Things are looking pretty legit. I am presently waiting for it to dry a little. Like it's it's on there pretty thick, so it'll take a while for it to dry. Um, these areas, I'm trying to put like lighter stuff over top of the dark. Um, just, you know, water, stuff happens. But because I was trying to do that while it was wet, it was just smearing and changing the color. And I'd rather it skip over the top and leave little, little dots, kind of like how the clouds are doing. You know, I, I guess those are clouds. They don't look like it. They look like mistakes. But yeah, that's the idea. We're gonna let it dry. Looks pretty legit. I'll do a little bit more on the water and then we're done. I'm just gonna color in the edges, sign it, call it, all, all done. This is the part where I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who's watching right now. As you may imagine, both painting and video production are important to me, yet they can take some time. So your patience and persistence to continue watching my amateur videos are actually quite inspiring, and for that, you have my whole gratitude. If you truly enjoy watching the whole process, consider subscribing. And if you have any suggestions for painting or for filming, leave them in the comments and I'll maybe try it out. Okay, that's it. Bye!